There is no bigger quest in science than the search for our cosmic origins. How was our world created? What is special about it? What does the future hold? Let's begin the search by looking out into the cosmos around us. The Moon and the Earth are held together by gravity. At a distance of 400,000 kilometers, the Moon is the furthest man has traveled. Apollo 11 took four days to get there, but a beam of light can complete the journey in little over a second. Eight light minutes away lies the Sun. Its gravity dominates the solar system, causing the planets to orbit around it. The Sun formed four and a half billion years ago from a cloud of gas and dust. Pulled together by gravity, the leftover debris collected over time to form the Earth, the Moon, the rest of the solar system, and us. The Sun is part of the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way is making new stars in places like the Orion Nebula, 1,000 light years away. The Orion Nebula is a vast complex of gas and dust, 2,000 times the mass of the Sun. Stars form as clumps collapse due to the pull of gravity. The collapse is halted when nuclear reactions ignite in the core of the clump. Orion is lit up by the light from newborn stars. Some host embryonic worlds, perhaps resembling the Earth. Let us now head to the heart of the Milky Way, 20,000 light years away. These stars are moving at 1,000 kilometers per second. But why are they moving like this? The gravity of an invisible black hole, four million times more massive than our Sun, holds them in orbit, just as the Sun holds the solar system together. Imagine if we could remove the gravity of the black hole. The stars would then fly away. The Milky Way is a spiral galaxy, a vast disk of stars and gas with a central bulge. It contains a hundred billion stars and is 100,000 light years across. But the stars are moving too fast to be held together by their own gravity. There must be more than meets the eye. Astronomers deduce that the galaxy is embedded in a clump of invisible dark matter whose gravity binds it together. Telescopes like the Hubble have surveyed large tracts of our universe, revealing that the Milky Way is just one of many billions of galaxies. Flying further from the Milky Way is like traveling back in time. We see galaxies whose light has taken billions of years to reach us. The galaxies change in appearance and color. We see young, blue galaxies with odd shapes which are forming hundreds of stars each year. As we get near to the beginning of the universe, there are fewer and fewer galaxies until eventually there is only darkness. About half a billion years after the Big Bang, galaxies had not yet formed. How are galaxies made? A tiny fraction of a second after the Big Bang, quantum processes seeded the universe with small irregularities. These were amplified by the dark matter, the main form of mass in the universe. Its evolution from the Big Bang to today can be traced in a supercomputer. Over billions of years, gravity pulls lumps of dark matter together building ever larger structures inside which galaxies can grow. Physicists have yet to identify the dark matter. It is probably an exotic elementary particle which must be very different from the ordinary matter which makes up living things, the Earth and the Sun. To understand how galaxies form, the computer must be taught how to solve the equations of physics that control the behavior of matter. With its overwhelming gravity, dark matter, on the right, sets the galactic agenda. 
Ordinary matter, shown on the left, cools inside clumps of dark matter and turns into stars. As the stars age, they eventually run out of nuclear fuel and stop shining. Massive stars explode spectacularly as supernovae, scattering newly fused chemical elements that find their way into new generations of stars. What will be the fate of the Milky Way? Our nearest large neighbour, Andromeda, lies two and a half million light years away and is hurtling towards us at a speed of several hundred kilometres per second. In a few billion years, the two will become entwined in a cosmic dance. Gravity, the architect of our universe, will rip stars and dark matter out of each galaxy. As the Milky Way and Andromeda fuse, a new galaxy will emerge. Cosmic evolution will continue to forge ahead. We have come a long way in our understanding of the cosmos. We hope that future generations will continue the quest for our cosmic origins.